Hello, my name is Mr Gavin and I'm the subject leader for physical education here at Thornley Legion College. We look forward to welcoming your child in September and when they arrive we want your child to feel safe and comfortable participating in PE, sport, dance and physical activity so that they can enjoy themselves to their fullest. We believe that our PE kit enables each student to do that. So we've compiled the short video to help you with some guidance about buying your PE kit to make this hopefully a really simple process. Boys PE kit, compulsory kit. Boys PE shirt is compulsory for all PE lessons. It's advisable to get your child's initial printed on the front of the shirt in case this is misplaced so it's much easier to return it to the correct child. The shirt is now short sleeved but there are still a limited number of long sleeve shirts available and, but these have now been discontinued by the suppliers. Boys PE shorts are compulsory for all PE lessons, the exception being if you choose to wear Thornley PE, PE pants instead. Please ensure that you purchase shorts that have the Thornley logo on them. PE socks are also compulsory for every lesson, even if students opt to wear pants rather than shorts. In terms of optional kit, we offer three items a unisex PE raincoat. This is a good option for students as the large majority of our lessons are delivered outside. This can also be worn as a general raincoat around school during the day. It's also available to be initialed. Boys PE pants. Some students prefer to wear these instead of shorts. It's a really good option for students in colder weather. Initials are available again and recommended. And finally, the unisex PE mid-layer top. We anticipate this being a really popular option, especially during colder weather, to keep students warm. Initials available again and recommended to ensure that PE kit is returned to the correct student if misplaced. Please write your child's name in every item of their PE kit, as it is highly likely they will misplace it at some point during their time at Thornley. Girls PE kit. Compulsory kit. The girls PE white shirt is compulsory for all PE lessons. It is advisable again to get your child's initials printed on the front of the shirt so that a misplaced shirt can be returned to the correct child very quickly. Girls PE skirt is compulsory for all PE lessons with the exception being if you are going to wear Thornley leggings instead. If you are going to wear leggings you do not need to buy a skirt. Girls PE socks are compulsory for all PE lessons even if a student is opting to wear leggings rather than a skirt. In terms of optional kit, we have similar options. The raincoat is again a good option as the large majority of PE lessons are delivered outside. This can also be worn as a general school coat with initials available. Girls PE leggings, as discussed, some students prefer to wear these leggings instead of a skirt. Again, a very good option during cold weather. They must have the Thornley image printed on the leg and finally the mid layer top again we anticipate this being a popular option especially during colder weather and it's advisable to get initials on this top also please write your child's name in every item of their PE kit as it's highly likely that they will misplace this at some point during their time at Thornley here is some additional guidance regarding PE kit there are further compulsory items both boys and girls must have shin pads for hockey and football activities. Football boots are compulsory for boys for grass activities such as football, rugby and cross country. It is advisable to buy boots with rubber or plastic studs as this allows students to also use them on our AstroTurf pitch, thus maximising their usage. Metal studs cannot be used on our AstroTurf pitch. Trainers can be any colour and any brand but must be suitable for sport. Fashion trainers, pumps, converse are unsafe to play sport in and are often the cause of injury, therefore we would discourage the use of these. Any long hair must be tied back at all times in every PE lesson, so please ensure that your child has a bobble. Optional items are a gum shield. These are advised for boys rugby lessons, although not compulsory but they're especially advisable for boys and girls participating in extracurricular rugby and hockey fixtures or practices. And finally, a base layer. A base layer can be worn underneath the boys or girls PE shirt. This must be black for boys, 
and must be white for girls. Again, can we please encourage you to write your child's name in every item of their PE kit. To stay updated with any issues regarding PE and any updates for fixtures, practices or anything in general, please go to our Twitter page and follow the handle at TSC underscore PE dance.